make now is one of my simple favorite recipes that I always do when I've got a group of friends coming over or just as a snack. It's called crumb fried stuffed mushrooms. And if you have an excellent chilled something along with it, it just gets better. Just watch how I'm going to do it. I've got oil heating up here and I've got button mushrooms, the regular variety out here. And did you know mushrooms in fact have got 95% water, which is why it's very healthy to make, very easy to make and the taste is awesome. So I've got the top caps here and the bases, the stems I'm going to use for the stuffing. So I'm taking the stems out, let's choppy choppy the onion. As finely as possible, in fact I think it's a large onion so half is good enough. Let's get this heating up and I'm going to add a small dollop of butter to this and some plain oil. Next is my favorite ingredient, garlic into this. Let's saute saute. A little bit of my chili peppers, that goes in. Lovely. As soon as this is sauteing, I'm putting in my onions. Lovely. And now with the stems, again chop. So just sweating my onions, not literally browning them or not colouring them. So I'm just going to make a nice chopped mixture of my stems. So not wasting a single bit of the mushrooms. Once the mushrooms are done, they go in. See, look at my cleaver, you know. Cleaver is the best piece of equipment that I find in kitchen. Such a variety of uses, you can use it to lift it, to chop it. And if you're going to make too much sound, I mean my cameraman, I can use it for that as well. For the time being, I'm using it for cooking. A little bit more of the butter. To that, finely chopped celery stalks. Celery really goes well with the mushrooms. So some nice celery. You don't want the bits of celery coming onto your palate. That goes in for the flavor. Along with that, just hold the thyme in the opposite direction. Remove the side stems and then in one single motion just trim off the leaves like this. Look at that. Basil. And some dried oregano to this. A bit of toasted white sesame to give it a nice nutty aroma. And once again, we we'll just have all this mixture coming together. Now there's one special thing that I do with this. Is I'm going to open a packet of cream. And I'm going to add cream to it just to bind it. Just a hint of cream. Not to make a creamy paste, but just to bind it. That way. So the entire mushrooms, onions, garlic is now all coming together to this little bit of mustard and once this is done I'm going to put this off mix everything nicely together it's time for some cheesy stuff I mean it's time to add some cheese so grated cheese you can use cheddar anything that you like but not a very hard cheese that doesn't melt so my stuffing is almost ready, time for some uh, grounded pepper, so freshly crushed pepper, mix it through. The reason I added cheese off the heat is because I just want it to melt just enough to hold everything together but not melt totally. And now for the tasting. Mm, quite nice. A little bit of salt required, not too much. And my gorgeous stuffing is ready. And I've got the mushroom caps here. But just to make sure that my mushroom takes in maximum stuffing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to core it slightly from inside. 
just trying to ensure that there is maximum flavor inside. Ensuring it's not breaking from the sides. Just make sure you're doing this with the spoon and not with a knife. You take a good spoonful of the stuffing and fit it tightly with the help of a spoon. Just making sure that it's all even inside. Nicely stuffed. Lovely. Be very generous when you're stuffing it because that is where all the taste is. So this is done. What is next? Next is I'm just going to break an egg into this mix. Pour in a little bit of refined flour or even if you have corn flour you can use it. Some mustard once again. Oregano. Paprika. Salt, cracked pepper and now with my special ingredient for this recipe, some Cajun seasoning. This you normally find on all supermarket shelves, gives a nice tart, tangy taste to your mushroom and mind you this has got a lot of salt. So be very careful when you are seasoning this, just beat it lightly. Once lightly beaten. This is to coat my mushrooms. So we have taken some nice breadcrumbs. I'm now going to add a bit of the black sesame. Just mix it through. Just making sure that when my mushrooms are coated, they've got a good sesame flavor. Double coating the mushrooms. So look at this gorgeous mushrooms, in fact now until I cut through them, I cannot even make out their mushrooms. So now these mushrooms have to be fried in a really hot oil because if the temperature is less, what's going to happen is with slow cooking the heat is going to go inside and the entire cheese is going to come out. Just rolling the mushrooms over in oil so they are nicely fried from all sides and look at that, isn't it tempting? This is frying, I'm going to take a bit of my mayonnaise, a bit of tomato puree into this, some salt. See that's when you're hearing the crackling which means the heat is going through and through. So with this, I'm just going to mix it through nicely. The nice crisp golden brown from all sides, lovely. So I'm taking it all out on absorbent paper. So if there is any extra oil that has seeped through, look at this colour, wow. They are not looking like mushrooms, they are just looking as if they are hail bombs dropped directly from the heaven, all for us. So the mushrooms are ready here, so I am just taking this mayonnaise now. So there is one from this side and one from the other side. Some smoky barbecue sauce, same on this side. And next is the mustard, just a thin line of the mustard, not too much because it's quite pungent. Now with the mushrooms, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut them into half, so just one nice hit. Are you ready? Just look at that, nice stuffed mushrooms. Same with this, nice and big, this is for me, again here, nice hot oil, I am just putting a bit of thyme to crisp it up, on the paper. It's time out here. So my lovely crumb fried stuffed mushrooms are ready. Succulent in the center with cheese and mushrooms and a nice crisp outside. Sour beer. Hmm. Where's my beer? <laughs> <laughs>